As here, I decided to keep playing this because why not? Empty rickshaw. Maybe the rickshaw runner will know how to get to Sukumo's house. Oh, jeez. Giant Sakura tree, which is the cherry blossom ones. Store. Alright. The wall outside his house is a different color than the ones around it. So it can't be that one. Could be that one. Can't be that because there isn't a cherry tree. Alright. It's not going to be that one because there's no cherry tree next to it either. Can't be that one because, yet again. Alright. That's different. That's different. Can't be either of those. Must be allergic to pine trees. He didn't have a single one. Alright, so it's none of those. Oh, it can't be that one either. Alright! Apparently, we got it right. She unlocked an admirably balanced mine. Alright, let's go to Sakuma's house. Hello, is anyone home? I found all your stuff laying about. There's a smiley face. Is that the comb? No. There's a cat, though. Oh, I need two spiders, and I just spotted one. Alright, so now we just need a spider. Which I think is this one. Alright, go team. Need a ball. Some firewood. I'm not immediately spotting. I don't know why that face is horrifying. <laughs> My grandma burns pine cones down then. Like, she gathers them up all year, and then when we have a nice little fire going on in our house during the summer, she'll just throw in a bag of pine cones, and there's a giant unruly fire. So, we have now dictated that my father is in charge of putting pine cones in the fire for grandma. Mostly because we don't want- that's a heart! Mostly because we don't want to die. A bottle? I was going for it and then the mouse moved. I mean the mouse was moving anyways, but you know. Mm, a key. There we go. That apparently is not my comb, it's part of a rake. Comb, pineapple, tulip. There's the comb. There's a pineapple. Just, I'm just gonna put my hand over this thing and hope that the tulip's not there. Oh, there it is. Okay, can we go now? <laughs> it's staring into my soul and it's not even looking at me. I just wonder if Sakuma might be in the back. You can't just go into somebody's house. And I'd say knock, but these walls look pretty thin. Alright, a beetle and envelope. Found the envelope. I do not see Ringo anywhere. Uh, get it? Because beetle. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was a. Terrible joke. I know at least one person smiled at it other than me. I don't see a beetle. <laughs> I see a cat. Ah, oh, music. Why do you have to be so sleepy? Look for a necktie. Should I Swear I saw in the lost track of this. Oh, cat. Geisha girl. It's Geisha, right? There's. <coughs> I'm just gonna make all the noises. 
corn if I can ever click on it. Horse. Squirrel. Sir, you have squirrels in here. This is why you close the door. Uh, dragon. There's dragon. Memo and train tracks. Memo? Four in middle, five below, or four below five. Oh my gosh. Three in middle, four below five, six left of one, two upper left. I swear I can read. Train tracks. Oh, up here. Alright, where's this beetle? Do you see a beetle? Is it in the frog? Oh, wait. Apparently it is not the ladybug. Oh, it's on the tree. What's behind this door? The log is sturdy, but maybe the memo I found earlier might help. Alright. Three is in the middle. Two is in the upper left. Four is below five. Six is to the left of one. And I'm good. Oh, snap. How dare you come into my studio? I don't know you. Sorry, but no one answered my call. You're the artist Sukumo, yes? You know a man named Richard Pemberton? I, I never heard of him. Oh, snap. Tim is the only foreigner I know. See him if you want my work. Now get out. Gonzo, I suggest you leave, lady. Now. Hmm. Was odd. Sounded angry, but he also seemed frightened? Perhaps I can learn more about him from the context Kenzo suggested. Probably frightened that some random woman just busted into his house. I think I can't find French bread. If you bring me French bread that's sliced, I am the happiest person. Although, to be honest, I'll eat unsliced French bread. I'll just sit there with a loaf of bread. I don't care. Uh, is that the rose? No. That's a butterfly, not a rose. Very similar looking things. Also, does it look like this bunny is tackling this bird? It's not having a good day. Alright, we're looking for a rose and an arrow. I don't know if they mean pew pew arrow or this direction arrow. By the way, somebody does like covers of more modern songs on these. I don't know what they're called. But uh, she's kinda awesome. There's an envelope. There's always an envelope! And a cat, which I haven't spotted yet, but I bet you there's a cat. A shell, a banana. It's a fan, not a shell. It's a fish. Is that a rose? No. Shell. There's the banana. Grapes. A breath. So I found out the other day, my boyfriend never read Merchant of Venice in high school, and I was like, what school did you go to? Oh, there's the star. And then I remember that due to health reasons, his like teacher brought him work to do at home most of the time. And because the teacher was lazy, he just didn't get a lot of assignments, apparently. I was like, dude, my... I can't go into that particular... There's... First of all, I have the utmost respect for the one female character in there who's like, yo, well, I'll figure this out and pretend to be like a lawyer and all that. I don't think she was pretending to be a lawyer. She was pretending to be something important. I haven't read it in a while, but I know the gist of the story, which consists of, you know, with the pound of flesh thing, 
Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Take his flesh. But if you spill a single drop of blood or take anything else, we're gonna try you for, you know, trying to murder this man. You're just the smartest thing ever. Oh, there's a turtle. Which character was that? Was it Jessica? I want to say that was her name. I remember her name because her name was actually, like, invented by Shakespeare. I could be wrong on the character, though. I know the name comes from that play, though. Yeah, Shakespeare invented names. I know, we're all shocked. Anywho, although I don't read it regularly, that is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays. There's an arrow. Rapes in a boat. Oh, there's the boat. Uh, did you guys see where the circle thing was? Because I didn't. And I was looking for it. Are you kidding me? Did it bug out because the thing wasn't scratched out yet? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Maybe it was just up top and I couldn't see it and all that. Each house owner? Oh, she looks serious. Questions, eh? I can't talk now. Too many clients. Play this game until I have time for you. Alright. Oh, hey, it's the game we just did. Sorry for moving the mic. I was half curious how far down we could go this. Without, like, going over into any of all these. That was... That was interesting. Huh. Those match. Is that again? Oh, they're right next to each other. So I've completely lost track of everything we've seen. Oh, it does go together. I have a harder time telling flowers apart. Those two? Those two. Oh, all four of those match. Sorry, but I cannot answer any questions about Tsukumo-san. What happens to the geisha house stays in the geisha- Remember. What happens there stays there. I really wish to want to know about his work and said now I must protect Tsukumo-san's privacy and that of his family. His family? Oh, he has the sweetest little girl. You never see them part. I mean, ahem. How old is she? She's so kidnapped. Eight, as sweet as a cherry blossom, but I haven't seen the two of them together in oh so long. Okay, so the giant guy is like the muscle keeping an eye on him, and the girl's been kidnapped. And he's making forgeries. I mean, I thought she was discreet, but she was certainly talkative when it came to the little girl. To Timmermans! No time for this. Probably have time for one after if not too slow. Alright, we're looking for the number four and a dog. There is a woof woof. <sighs> so annoyed at my dad. Uh, last night, which will be like a night or two ago for you guys when this goes up. Um, like I had plans to make pork chops. I was shaking bake because I'm lazy. But, like, I was kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> and Dad shows up with, like, all of the leftovers from work. And he didn't call her and tell me or anything. So, of course, I had the oven heat and was ready to go. I was like, I guess I won't make the porch. She was like, no, 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 make the pork chops. We just had so much food. 
I do not see a pine cone. I keep thinking that face is a pine cone. It's not a pine cone. Oh, there's a new insult. Your face looks like a pine cone. I don't see this for either. Uh, French bread. Oh. They intend to keep me hungry. Letter A. I gotta lean forward, guys. They got this glare coming from outside the window, which is not helping me at all. I mean, that is four. Okay, so that was what they wanted. Do we see an A or a pipe? That's a mallet, not a pipe. I clicked it anyways. There's Mushu from the one movie. Oh, there's the A. Not seeing this pipe unless we're looking for a hookah pipe. You know, for tip tobacco and stuff. Five burbs. There's two burbs. Three. Dragon is not a burb. Oh, the deer is smoking the pipe. Uh. Herbs and lobster. There's a lobster. There's a- you're a bird. There's cat. So- I'm still looking for this last bird. Don't worry, keep an eye out. I probably looked over it like sw six times. Swix times. There's the bird. Done with myself. Alright, do they mean like a bow and arrow or a hair bow? Violin bow? Peach, the deadliest of fruits, at least in my case. And a top hat. I think it's clever being upside down, but I found it. Sorry, but I don't sell Sukumo's work anymore. He's retired. Retired? But why? I believe he wants to be left in seclusion to, to spend time with his daughter. You have works of any other artists. Let me show you a beautiful Hokusai woodblock print. But I really was more interested in Sukumo and his work. Ding ding. I would have excuse me, one of my regular customers has just come in the back. Timmerman, have the new items come in? Not yet, Jimmy. Any day now. How is she? Fine, fine. It's Mr. Fox from the Embassy. He seems to be a customer here, too. Oh, it's all coming together. So I haven't learned much about Sukumo. Perhaps Shida Fujikawa can help me. You know what? We're gonna go over time, probably. Unless I magically know where everything is again. But, that is okay. Cat? I found the cat. Alright, garlic and a mustache. It's a mustache free in the wild. Great, I'm gonna get stuck on mustache. There we go. Garlic. Right there. Chocolate. Keep thinking that's a chocolate bar and it's not. Chocolate. There's a globe. Toast. Yeah, it's a whole sandwich, not toast. Alright, chocolate and toast. What's that? Sorry if my mouse going crazy. The thing is, I don't think the problem is actually with my mouse. <laughs> the problem is that the cords are wrapped around things and sometimes it just snags and gets jerked.
jerked around and I don't feel it because it's so slight. There's the word apple. No? Uh, the yen bell again. Cracker. Oh, there's the toast. Technically that was bread, but I'm not going to argue with you on it. I know I'm right. <laughs> comb. I thought I saw a comb last time we were here. Somebody remind me where that comb was. There's a ladder. Oh, there's the comb. A tulip. Tulip. Is that the knife? All right. Chocolate tulip cracker. Just to ease my mind, that is not it. I don't see any of these. There's the cracker. There's the tulip. Alright, so we have until the hint bar fills up again for chocolate. I'm trying to look for things that chocolate would blend in with, because I feel like it would be there. Mostly because this game is tricksy like that. What's this? Nothing? I don't think it's one of these drawers, do you? It's not in the paneling. It's not there. I think it's that dry erase thing. Actually, I think that's just a regular chalk eraser. I don't know why I call them dry erasers now. Because they're not. I should just call them erasers. Here's this chocolate. Do you guys see it? That's not it. The apple is not chocolate. Oh, there it is. I found it as hint filled up. How was your investigation going, Miss Pemberton? Sukumo might be the artist. Jensai Sukumo, Timmerman, his art dealer, says he retired to spend time with his daughter. But the owner of his favorite geisha shop says she hasn't seen them together in weeks. Hmm, contradictory reports, eh? That seems odd. I think that James Fox at the embassy might be able to tell me something about Sukumo. Mr. Fox seems to be on a first name basis with Timmerman. Not surprising, Miss Pemberton. Many foreigners value our Japanese antiques. Chairman is a well-known dealer, though not, rumor has it, always the most reputable. Thank you, detective. Be careful, Miss Pemberton. If your suspicious or suspicions concerning your husband are correct, who knows? You could very well be in danger yourself. It's fine. I have a petticoat. To the embassy tomorrow and see what they know about Sukumo. Alright, nobody tried to break into my house overnight. Good. I will see you guys next time. Bye!